I'm so excited to have caught this frog. I think I've got to give it a smooch. All right, you ready? Here we go. One, two. Once upon a time, on a little YouTube channel known as Brave Wilderness, Coyote Peterson made the seemingly crazy decision to lick some frogs. If you missed that episode, my reasoning was simple. This obscure taste test is an old herpetology trick used to determine the difference between the non-toxic leopard frog and the poisonous pickerel frog. I know you clicked on this video because you want to see what will happen when Coyote Peterson smooches a giant bullfrog. So don't worry, I fully intend to deliver on my promise, but in order to kiss a frog, first, I've got to catch one. It's a common phrase that everything is bigger in Texas. And I can personally attest to the truth in this statement, especially when it comes to their magnificent menagerie of animals. So tonight we are setting out to explore a protected cypress swamp in search of what may be the biggest frog I have ever seen. It's another sweltering night here in the swamps of Texas. And the other day we were out here filming an episode about the bizarre creatures that inhabit this swamp. And in the process, I came across what may be the largest bullfrog I have ever seen. I attempted to make the catch after I'd broke my net and had to use my hand, and it was so big and so powerful, it was able to outmuscle me and then hopped off into the swampy night. We have returned this evening to see if I can find that frog for a second time. I've gotten a new net. With any luck, we're gonna catch this gargantuan frog and get it up close for the cameras. So if you guys are ready, let's go frog searching. I've caught some sizable frogs in the past, including Costa Rica's Smoky Jungle Frog, which is most famous for its ability to screech like a cat that is starving for a big bowl of meow mix. There it is, the famous sound that they make. Meow, meow, meow. Wow! And I did catch a pretty big bullfrog during our visit to Texas in 2016. But the frog I saw last night, and the frog you are about to witness with your own eyes, is on a whole new level of ginormous. So what we're doing right now is slowly moving in the direction of the frog that I saw the other night, the big one. They're rather territorial, so I have a feeling it's gonna be hanging out in the same area. And what they'll do is go up against the base of these cypress trees, tuck themselves in and wait in ambush for a prey item to come close. So I'm scanning the bottom of the trees, looking for that eye shine. The eyes are very reflective, so if I see the frog, we'll be able to slowly move in and hopefully make the catch. I've got some eye shine. Could be a big frog, tough to tell, hold on. That's a big frog right there. Let's see what happens. He's in a very difficult spot. Got him! Yes! That is a monstrous bullfrog! Look at the size of that amphibian! It is huge! Wow! Okay, let's back up a little bit here and uh, take a look. That is an absolute giant when it comes to Texas bullfrogs. All right, let's head up here. That right there is what I would consider one very, very, very big Texas bullfrog. Now, technically, this is the American bullfrog, the same species that I'm used to seeing in Ohio, but for some reason in Texas, they are so much bigger. The saying here in Texas always goes, everything is bigger in Texas and the bullfrogs are no exception. Now, you typically think of a frog as being a prey item, but when it comes to these bullfrogs, they're actually apex predators here within this swamp ecosystem. Now, it's fair to say that something like an alligator, an alligator snapping turtle, maybe even a great blue heron would take the advantage of eating a frog like this, but late at night in these shallow waters, this frog is the king of this swampland. 
Now they will eat things like other frogs, uh, even something as big as a swamp rat. And a frog of this size is even capable of eating snakes. Have you ever thought about a frog actually eating a snake? That's crazy, right? One thing that most people don't realize is that most frog species have teeth. The bullfrog specifically is actually capable of giving you a pretty painful bite. However, they are extremely docile. And if you're lucky enough to find one of these in the environment and manage to catch it, you're gonna be completely safe interacting with the frog. Now, you can see how big those eyes are set high up on top of the skull. They have excellent eyesight both during the day and at night. And their bodies are capable of sensing movement and vibrations within the ecosystem. So when I was sneaking up, I was trying to move as slow as I possibly could. That frog will stay frozen in place with a flashlight on it. It's thinking, well, I'm exceptionally well camouflaged. I hear something coming. As long as I don't move, hopefully nothing will see me. I knew exactly what I was looking for and it allowed me to get close enough to make the catch. Now, is this the exact same giant bullfrog that I saw the other night? Tough to tell, the patterning is very similar and this is the exact same location. But I know one thing's for certain, I'm excited to have gotten an amphibian of this size up close for the cameras. And when it's fully stretched out, you can see this frog is about the length of my arm. Look at how big that frog is, unbelievable. And when I hold it out like that, you can really see that distinct speckled patterning that runs all along the length of its body. The frogs here in Texas have such unique design as compared to the bullfrogs I'm used to catching in Ohio. Let's just kind of hold the frog up and take a look at its belly. Whoa, look at that. Almost zebra patterning in effect. Let me show you guys this. Look at the back legs of that frog. Look at all of the muscle in those thighs. You can take a look at the webbed feet, absolutely massive. They are fast, powerful swimmers, and their jump will propel them forward with significant power. As soon as this frog feels as if it's disturbed, it will launch itself forward, back and forth, back and forth, until it can dive down into the water and hide beneath the mud. That is exactly how I missed this frog the first time around a couple nights ago. Now you'll notice that I'm holding the frog right here between its stomach and its legs. That is the best place to handle one of these amphibians. You don't want to squeeze the frog too much because in the middle here is where all the organs are, are kept. You want to get right at the back of the legs. This muscle is completely safe to hold on to and it's definitely the best place to be able to catch one of these frogs. Well, I would say coming back out into the swamps at night was definitely worth the effort because this is without question the biggest bullfrog I have ever caught. Now we know what the fairy tales say. If you kiss a frog, it will turn into a prince. In my case, I wonder if I kiss this frog, will it turn into the princess of my dreams? I'm so excited to have caught this frog. I think I've got to give it a smooch. All right, you ready? Here we go. One, two. Nope, still a frog. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Kissing frogs will not turn them into princes, princesses, unicorns, Bigfoot, or any other mythological fantasy you may have. And this is also a good spot for me to responsibly remind you not to kiss, lick, or consume any amphibians. When it comes to interacting with the basic backyard frogs in America, these animals are safe to catch and admire as long as you make sure to quickly release them back into the wild and then wash your hands after the encounter. Remember, several species can carry toxins in their skin that are considered harmful to humans. So leave all the craziness up to me and everyone, including the frogs, will live happily ever after. The end.